We all know the mantra, pay your dues and graduate from college and you'll enjoy a successful career. So for some, the goal is a bachelor's degree. There's an unspoken belief that the job market is just waiting for hordes of ambitious, eager young graduates to slide into high paying jobs in the corner office. But statistics tell a different story. This is known as the skills gap. You must have the technical and employable skills industry requires in order to compete for jobs within your chosen career. Rapid hardening cement. Now let us understand about the rapid hardening cement. Now before going into the depth, we must ask ourselves two questions. The first one, by what change in the raw material or the basic compounds, the cement attains the behavior of rapid hardening. That is why it exhibit a nature of immediately hardening on addition of water. And the second question that we must ask ourselves is that how we can utilize this behavior on site. Now let us understand what property rapid hardening cement have. It has high rate of development of strength. Now how high it is? It develops three days strength is as much as OPC's seven days strength. So what a normal cement attains in seven days, this rapid hardening cement attains in three days. Now once the reaction take place, since the rate of reaction is fast, more heat of hydration is also released. Now let us understand the reason that why rapid hardening cement exhibits such kind of behavior. The rapid rate of development of strength is attributed to the higher fineness of grinding that is more surface area exposed for action of water. So in simple words when you have the more surface area more water will be in contact with the cement. So more water will be in contact with the cement more speedy will be the reaction and the second reason is higher C3S that's mean higher C3S now from the previous module we understand this thing that C3S reacts before C2S so more the content of C3S more faster will be the reaction so having a higher content of C3S which react more faster with water to form the CSH gel responsible for bonding and it has lower C2S. So there are two primary reasons that why rapid hardening cement behaves a rapid strengthening. The first reason is it has more fineness. The particles are more grounded providing more surface area for reaction. And the second reason is that it has more C3S content compared to C2S and we know that C3S react faster and C2S is the last compound which reacts. Now the real question lies where we can use or apply this particular cement. Now there are three major things. First one when shuttering or formwork material it can be removed early and reused elsewhere. Now formwork is one of the major cost component in any of the construction. So if we are able to use the same material again and again then we will be saving a lot of cost. And if this time cycle is reduced, then we'll be saving a lot of time. So suppose with a normal OPC, we have a repetition of three by rapid hardening cement. We will have a repetition of nine times. So we will be able to use the shuttering material again and again. Now the second reason is when structure to be used early example road. So in road, we cannot divert a traffic for a very long time. So rapid hardening cement, in a very short span of time the road can be maintained and repaired. Now the third reason. In the cold weather where the rapid rate of development of strength reduces the vulnerability of concrete to the forced damages. Now what is this forced damages? 
द वॉटर प्रेजेंट इन द सीमेंट आफ्टर मिक्सिंग इट विद द वॉटर वॉट हैपन्स दिस दैट एट बिलो फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट टेम्परेचर दिस वेर वॉटर टेंस टू फ्रीज नाउ वंस द वॉटर बिकम इन टू द आइस कंडीशन इट डज नॉट रिएक्ट विद द सीमेंट नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट डैमेज ऑल्सो वॉट हैपन्स वेन द वॉटर इज इन द पोर्स इन द कंक्रीट इट ऑक्यूपाई लेस स्पेस बट एज इट बिगेन टू कन्वर्ट इन टू आइस इट्स वॉल्यूम इंक्रीजेस एंड दिस वॉल्यूम हैज सो मच ऑफ फोर्स दैट इट कैन ब्रेक द कंक्रीट एंड स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग द क्रैक्स विच इज द फर्स्ट डैमेज Education is core to our economy. But in order to guide our educational systems and maximize future income, we must understand the misalignment between education and our workme. The university degree is no longer the guaranteed path towards financial success as it was for previous generations. And even if you do earn one, that education alone may not be enough. In today's highly technical knowledge-based economy, having hands-on skills and perfecting what you're good at can be more valuable than getting a degree in something simply to get one. Employers want to know what you can do and what you can do well, not just what degree hangs on your wall. Is career exploration. Understand the jobs available, the income ranges they pay, and evaluate the skills they require. Identifying is to align your interests and abilities with your first career choice and the education and training you'll need to receive. This alignment will help bring your future into focus and ensure your position at the top of the pay scale in your chosen career.